Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, August 7th, 2015 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I balance my light with being one unto myself. And this is where the Virgo work really begins. We actually have Mercury shifting into Virgo today. I didn't actually look up what time. 12.15 p.m. Pacific. So we have the morning of Mercury, the final degree, that 29 degree of Leo, which is that tested degree. Can you own it? Can you own your personal light expression? Can you own however it is that you want to express yourself into the world? That is so Leo. And you know, it's interesting. I have written in my calendar, actually. I, this came to me earlier this week, and I was like, one day this is going to this is gonna be perfect. And I think this is actually perfect today. I love the shift from Leo into Virgo, because Leo, it is the sign of royalty. It's the sign of actually desiring appreciation, which we're working with. It can be kind of the shadow side of Leo. Um, not that it's bad to be appreciated. It's just when it becomes your main motivation that it can kind of constrict your light. Um, but it loves the appreciation and the light. And Virgo takes it a step further, because Virgo is the sign of the virgin, and this actually has nothing to do with sexuality, but rather being one unto yourself. And I think when you're one unto yourself, that's really that Lilith vibration, it's the goddess vibration of being like, well, you can appreciate me or not, but I'm going to show up and be me. And that is the essence of Virgo, showing up and being you. Virgo is also the essence of really getting into the body, recognizing the part of you that your body plays. And while you are not your body, you know, you're not your clothes, all those things, at the same time, your body is a major part of your physical and spiritual process on this planet. In fact, Nicole Ullman and I did a Gaia Perspective talk on that. So if you want more about that, check that out. But Mercury in Virgo, you know, Virgo is actually a very mental sign. It is co-hosted co <laughs> co <-hosted laughs> by Mercury, Mercury and Chiron. And so thinking is very much an aspect of Virgo. In fact, Virgo has kind of a reputation for being amazing at analyzing. And this can be, you know, light or dark. This can have its positive effect on us. It can also have a negative effect on us. So really be aware where is your thinking going? How is your thinking affecting your body? I think I was just looking at something just right before this. I wonder, I wish I could remember whose quote it was. But it was, I think it was, um, I think it was, oh well, it, I can't remember. I'll post it on Guy Blooming if I can find it again. But basically, your thinking affects every cell of your body. What if you got your thinking in alignment with how you wanted to feel, how you wanted your body to show up on this planet? This is what... I think is going to be so powerful about Mercury coming into the Virgo and next Jupiter shifting into Virgo. Thinking how you want to feel, thinking how you want to be, and letting that really impact you, and letting your actions in return be affected by how you're thinking about how you want to feel and how you want to show up in your physical body. So I think Mercury in Virgo is going to be great, but watch out because it can also get like this. And if you find yourself spinning, 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 overanalyzing, that's the time to breathe, get in your body, get centered. So we have Mercury in Virgo today. We're also in the last day of Mars in Cancer, Mars 29 degrees Cancer, because tomorrow Mars is shifting into Leo to make up for the spot that Mercury just left behind. So Mars is at 29 degrees. Cancer, which is also that tested degree, that 29 degree of mastering that cancer lesson. And the cancer lesson is one of being at home, one of being nurtured by virtue of yourself. So take some action in nurturing your physical body today, nurturing yourself the way you would nurture a newborn, making sure you're drinking the water that you need to drink, uh, eating the foods that you need to eat so that you can show up and take action with Mars shifting into Leo, which is definitely fire, loves to take action. And I also love the timing of this, Mars shifting into Leo, just as Jupiter is preparing to shift into Virgo, because Jupiter and Virgo is going to help manifest some of what we've been putting into place with this Leo vibration, Jupiter and Leo vibration. So Mars coming in is kind of going to be like a nice little push, too, into that Virgo manifested vibration. 
that's going on. Besides that, today feels like a lot of work. <laughs> There's a lot of work going on. We have the moon in Taurus showing up, giving us those worth value lessons, and the moon is going to be squaring Venus, which is really going to make us test our value. And I think this is going to be one of those tests, just the same as Saturn. Are you valuing yourself because what others say about you? Are you valuing yourself because you know you're showing up as yourself? It's one of the major things that we're all working through right now. Moon is also going to be opposite Saturn, helping us dive deeper in to those worth lessons, showing us, like, how can I make these, <laughs> these shame feelings? How are they worthwhile to me? How have they helped me? level up because that's what ultimately everything is helping you do whether it takes a long time a slow time a roundabout time everything is helping you evolve and shift so look at those things that you've been working through that root chakra stuff and see how it's helped shift your worth um the moon is also going to be squaring jupiter so moon in taurus is like hey all that glitters is not gold don't let your ego get ahead of you you know it it can we're all working through this right now. Um, and then the moon's finally going to shift into Gemini. I think it's going to be like, Phew, okay, I did my worth lessons. I did it. I'm ready to have fun for the weekend. So the cards that I pulled, I love this combination. First card, awareness. And this is Mercury moving into Virgo. This is all the worth lessons. We are ta taking all the peels off the onion. We're getting deeper and deeper into ourselves and becoming aware of the true shiny self that's under all these layers of protection and masks that we put over ourselves. And I also pulled going with the flow. Find your flow in this. <laughs> it's a lot. This astro is a lot. So just find your flow. Trust that it's all working out. And if you need to take a nap, take a nap. And finally, creator. This is the true, I think this is the true light. This is truly what we're all moving to create is an expansion of our light or expansion of our light actually being seen and expressed. So through all of this, whatever comes, Remember that that's kind of really the true focus. That's really, truly what it's about, is shining your light, however it's expressed. So, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.